on a story you'll only see right here on NBC Montana. Fentanyl overdoses remain the number one cause of death among U.S. adults ages 18 to 45. But how the drug is made, shipped, and distributed appears to be an effort facilitated by China at nearly every level. It's all laid out in a brand new book. Our Christine Frizzell sat down with the author and has more. Come on, come on, stay with us, stay with us. The once shocking scene of Americans young and old collapsed on the streets from fentanyl poisoning has become commonplace in big cities and small towns alike. Despite rhetoric that Mexico or the open border is to blame, there is new alarming evidence that the fentanyl crisis is not accidental, but a deliberate strategy by China. It basically says, why go toe to toe with the United States? Let's just go ahead and do what we can to uh, create social division and chaos to see the decline of the United States. Peter Schweitzer's brand new book, Blood Money, details China's involvement in every link of the chain of fentanyl, from the creation of the ingredients to the ports they enter into in Mexico. Even the manufacturing in Mexico is all carried out by China, which now also oversees the laundering of money. The DEA has cited Chinese money laundering as the number one underwriter of transnational criminal organizations. His involvement is no surprise. Schweitzer makes the case it's 100% deliberate, relying on experts as well as leaked documents from the Department of Homeland Security and Chinese military manuals and strategy books, including unrestricted warfare a copy of which was smuggled into the United States and translated into English, and outlines, quote, China's master plan to destroy America. Break this down for me. How does the death of tens of thousands of Americans by fentanyl overdoses diminish power in this country? This is causing major casualties, and these are younger people. These are people that might go into the military people that might help grow our economy. It also creates an enormous strain on our health care systems. Uh, and it is just one of many arrows that they are firing at the United States in an effort to weaken and sap our strength. Schweitzer says the blame lies at the highest levels of the U.S. government, including with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, whose family has ties to the Chinese shipping industry, and President Joe Biden, whose son Hunter has done business with CCP-linked companies, with dozens more implicated in what he calls willful blindness. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.